things that you can use this for later if you want. And the arena ID is being typed in right now. It's six. There you go. It's right there in chat. Out of curiosity, did you want anything like advice between games, pointing out habits, just playing without any of that, or what? No, yeah, I want advice, like, as, I guess is during or in between is both fine. I'm down. Okay. Sounds good. I'll do just that. With that in mind, uh, good luck, should be fun. Yeah, thank you for coming. Are you having any difficulties? Fantastic. All right, good luck, dude. <laughs> okay. Who do you main out of curiosity? I main uh, Falcon and Incineroar. Ooh, that's a spicy duo. Yeah, it's, it's also kind of just, um, who I like to play as well. Yeah, for sure. Incineroar is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It took me a while, but yeah, I started to really like it. my jump. It happens. Yeah, a lot of people in that position have a very common jump habit, which is the reason you died there. Yeah, that was just a bad position to get caught in. Yeah, this matchup can be so volatile. Yeah, I saw you with uh, Sky That one time. It was like super bad. Are you talking about the first of 10 or our bracket set? I think it was both. Yeah, because we've had uh, one with both. Yep, you did the early jump again. Yeah, it's kind of a common panic option. I think it's because people will be like, oh, someone is running towards me, therefore I have to do something about it. But if you're fighting someone who's specifically just trying to call that out specifically, you end up in these situations where you burn all of your resources, get caught out from that position, and now you have nothing left. So you can, if you're fighting someone who's gonna be reading your jumps, or someone that you think might be, sometimes you just have to be brave and just not jump. Just call out their bluff and be like, you're not going to hit me because you're not aiming for my current position, you're aiming for a higher one. So you can take away my jump. Like I was right there. It's been like that, I'm just, it's like, 
everything. And like, in other fighting games too, I just jump. It makes sense. It's a really common habit. Nice catch. Nice. Oh my god, I didn't think you were going to do that. Alright, nice. Protect those. Not like this. Oh no, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> yeah, and that happens. That's one of those moments that, for future reference, if Falcon hits you with that back air, something else isn't true. So, like, that down air is not even close to being true. That's kind of just one of those moments where Falcon has a lot of strings that. If you're just kind of caught unprepared, you can just be hit by things you shouldn't. But, like in that situation, if you threw out an aerial, that wouldn't have happened. Or, another one that you can do that in as well is if Falcon does that thing where he does like falling up, like a, a falling up air and then tries to land on you with something, or is in a position where he can, you can pretty much always just throw out an aerial or jump or do literally anything, and he won't be able to combo into me. It's very much a catch people sleeping at the wheel type of situation. I thought you were gonna oh, uh, stay back for the upbeat again. Because you were getting me with the upbeat. Right. Yeah, uh, the main thing that's happened there is you just got caught in a bad position. I like the catch. Nice. Oh no! I got scared for you for a second. <laughs> Have you practiced your turnaround knees out of curiosity? Do you know how to? Uh... Yeah, might as well just go for knee though and get the kill, right? Yeah. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So it'll look like this, where you do the down air. So in slow motion, it's down air, dash forward, and then you basically dash back and knee. So in full motion, it looks like this. So just, what I want you to do is, sometime after this lesson, it doesn't have to be immediately or even today, but I'd like you to try and go into training mode, get a CPU up to like 60% or whatever percent down air Denis works on, depending on the character, and then just try practicing doing down air into the turnaround knee. Wait until you can do it five times in a row, and once you can, now do it for the other side, where you're facing the other direction. 
So instead of just doing five of these in a row, now you're doing five of these in a row. And once you're at a point where you can do that, you're done. And then maybe just try and do the same exercise another day until you get to a point where you feel like there's no need to practice it anymore. It'll help a ton for securing kills earlier, especially when you get things like this down air in that particular position, because if I could do down air to knee from here, I have to go all the way over here to die. Whereas if you just do down air turnaround knee, you don't have to make them go all that extra distance, so you can just kill way earlier, and it's better. Yeah, there's just nothing available to you at that point. Oh, whoops. Goofy mishaps happen. Nice grab. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. Alright, <laughs> uh, can I have a general question? Sure. Um, uh, because, um, from watching like top player matches, I feel like they don't fumble the whole Like right away. Um, Right. Even if, even if it feels like they know it's not gonna kill, they just let go. They don't pummel, they just let come up throw. Yeah, sometimes people will do that, not necessarily because it's correct, but because they're trying to like throw faster so they can mix up, they're more likely to mix up someone's DI. Because a lot of the time if you can get someone on bad DI, that's gonna do more to help you than that extra little bit of percent. But otherwise, sometimes people just forget. Like, sometimes people just don't do the optimal thing, even if they're like top level. At the end of the day, everyone's human, so you know, mistakes happen. No, not like this. Yep, if you if you had your reverse knee down, I was dead. a little bit too cheeky. Not this time, unfortunately. But yeah, good games. Hopefully it was fun and uh, interesting for you. Yeah, yeah I always... I, I panic really hard when I get hit. Yeah, sometimes you just have to be brave and just not commit when someone gets close to you because a lot of times good players are going to try to get close to you on purpose, not because they're going to commit to an option, but because they're confident you will, and then they're just gonna try and react to whatever you do and then punish that. So you 
a lot of it is just that you had to be willing to play that game of chicken and just be willing to look them in the eye and be like, no, I'm not taking the bait. Instead, try to bait them. Because more often than not, a lot of neutral interactions are decided by who acts second. Because, yeah, my neutral is not that good. I feel like I'm, I'm just, like, running around and throwing out the fast moves. And that's better than nothing, but the main thing is just thinking about stage control. Because if you have the center of the stage, your opponent has to be somewhere else. And if your opponent is somewhere else, then that means you have more space to work with than they do. In general, if you don't have a better goal for neutral, just try to put yourself in positions where you have more space than your opponent. And then once you have that space, see if you can use it to push them in even further. Kind of like if you were in a real fight and you wanted, and you don't want to be up against a wall, it's just bad. You run out of options. You don't want your back against to be against the wall, you want theirs to be. Okay. Yeah, hopefully this all is right. super useful. You take care and have a good one, alright? Alright, yeah, thank you so much, dude. Take care.